What is this? It's a thing. You said you wanted work. This is work. Uh-huh. And who's the guy? You'll see. Yes? Hi. <laughs> oh. Hello. We're looking for Mr. Madrazzo. Patricia, for fuck's sake, just let him in. Right this way, gentlemen. <laughs> Patricia, get us something to drink with you. Quickly! Hey, good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, this is my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. The truth. Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. But uh, uh, some people, <laughs> they no longer fear me as much as they used to. People who wear clothes to me. Uh, my cousin, uh, you met in my call. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. What does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier. He's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. <whistles> and he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. A man, what's a pay? <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want a drink? Not now! Pendeja! Que no ves que estoy hablando con las gentes aquí? All right. You grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. All right! Hey everybody, welcome back to Grand Theft Auto 5. Sorry that it's been a little while. Uh, the week before Christmas ended up being a little busier than I imagined, and then this week I have just been not in the mood to record, really. But I uh, randomly felt the urge to today, so here we are. Um, I've had these next couple of videos, the gameplay portion of them, recorded for a while, so might as well pump these shits out, because uh, it's almost the end of the year. Um, I didn't think that I was going to be finishing this LP by the end of this year, uh, and I'm about as far along into it as I would have thought, realistically. Uh, we're a little bit more than halfway through this game at this point, so... Uh... Hopefully we can finish it up in a relatively timely manner uh, in the in the new year. Don't want to be spending months and months playing the same game, you know what I mean? But yeah, I've just been uh, uh, absent and, uh, and busy, and a lot of people that I know have too. Like, I've been... On the days where I have had free time, I've been trying to like get a get people together for for a stream or to watch a movie or something, and been trying to do stuff with JT as well. But um, everybody has a lot of shit going on, so hasn't really uh, panned out. Um, if you celebrate Christmas or whatever holiday, if you were doing anything for the holiday over the past month, I hope it was good. Um, I went home for Christmas and saw my family, and we had a very low-key time. It, you know, didn't do much, but, um, yeah, it was fine. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, there's not a whole lot going on that's worth talking about. I guess for a change, I'll say some things about what's happening in this game. Uh, if I remember correctly... I haven't really been paying attention. Yeah, this is it. Okay. So this is the uh, mission where you uh, shoot out a plane's engine and then follow it for like 10 minutes until it crashes. That is the thing. 
and there you go. This is the rifle thing, and I fuck it up the first time. I really don't know how, <laughs> um, but it uh, it's funny because they give you a pretty clear shot for a long time, and I just don't do it, and then I'm like just firing away, trying to get yeah, like that entire time I could have done it, but. Uh, you know, as it gets closer, the thing is moving a lot faster. Anyway, yeah, no, I'm just and yeah, then I I'm I'm I think I started using the controller out of nowhere, thinking that would be better, and yeah, no, it's not. So here I get the mouse back, but it was too fucking late at this point. So now I'm just firing into the blue. So yeah, big uh, dumb bonehead move on my part. I've never fucked this mission up before. This is just because it, it's very easy. Uh, I just have shit in my brain. Give me a second. <laughs> Ninth time's the charm. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> It will take not nearly as long, except I accidentally shot again, which is funny, but... I got her. Southwest of the city. Gotta shoot in front to compensate for the speed of the... Yeah, fucking... <laughs> <laughs> uh, you do have to hit it a couple times, though. So even if I had, by some miracle, gotten it on one of those other shots, there would have been no fucking way that I get it more than once. But there you go. That's all you need to do. You just need to not be a stupid moron. And then you get to uh, follow it on the motorbike, which is fun, I guess. I don't know. It's so weird how, like, mediocre I've come to think this game is. At least it's, like, missions and story. Uh, considering how, like, I still pretty much enjoy playing it. And, you know... It's fine. But there is a lot of it. That's the thing, you know? It's a lot of game, and it's a lot of the, the same stuff, and some of that stuff is kind of poop, pig poop balls. <clears throat> uh, but this is neat. I do like how there's kind of a, a path cut through here for you to go on. I am interested, if anyone knows about, uh, like open world game design or anything or just the design of these games in particular it's always fun when there's like you know a thing that uh like a a, a route or whatever that you take that is f like in one specific mission and but all that stuff is there in the world, you know what I mean? And it feels natural and organic and everything. For the most part. I al I'm always curious about, like, you know, which thing comes first. Like, you know, do you design... I, I imagine you design parts of the world in chunks, you know. Uh, some parts might develop more down the line than others into other things, but... Yeah, I'm just curious, like, you know, did they decide... Yeah, <laughs> I didn't go for the ramp, I just... You can just get hit by the train and it's fine. But yeah, I'm curious about, like, you know... Did they design the world and then utilize something they had designed for a mission? Or had they planned out these missions... Uh, enough in advance that they knew like precisely what they needed to be in the world and like how to incorporate it in a way that didn't make itself too obvious or call too much attention to itself you know what I mean I would be interested to know that because I don't know much about game making I would like to uh, and especially the like the making of, of worlds in the games because uh there's a lot of overlap now, especially uh, in the last couple of years, between uh, that and <clears throat> and like digital movie production and stuff. I mean, like virtual production 
uh, you know, they use Unreal Engine to make digital sets, you know? <coughs> I hope that I'm remembering to cut out all these times that I'm clearing my throat. I just have a bunch of uh, cum in my throat, so... Uh, yeah, so uh, you'll notice here that I started a recording uh, for that. I don't know why, I guess I just kind of like the plane crash site, uh, so I wanted to, like, you know, be able to use it to make something funny in the video editor. I'm thinking of including, down the line I might do some, like, show off some post-game stuff, or just, like, other extra stuff, whatever bullshit. Uh, and one of the things, uh, in that... Like, toward the end of the LP, I'd probably do that. Uh, I is show off the video editor. I know I've talked about it before at length, but... Uh, so, yeah, I've, in this video, started uh, collecting clips that I might use in some demonstration of the video editor. Or I might not do fucking anything, in which case, fine. Anyway, now we've done that. And now we are going to destroy the van, which I wanted to do in a fun way, and then it didn't work. You'll see. Uh, I need to be talking because there's a there's a copyrighted song playing right now, and YouTube is gonna have my ass. Uh, blah, 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 my name is Tim, and I am driving a van. Okay, we're done. So yeah, I tried to fucking, um, do, because it just defaulted to the gas can here. So I was like, cool, I like doing the gas can. We'll do a little trail of gas, and then I'll start my recording, and it'll be epic. You know what I mean? Go all the way up to the top so I can get a cool shot of me at the top of this mountain. And then I shoot the trail of tears. And then there's the fire and it's going to go to the van and boom. Nope, fuck you. This is an indestructible van. Didn't do anything. Maybe I just did it wrong. Anyway, uh, another way you can do it is just throw a grenade at it. That'll do the same thing. And there you go. And yeah, I just decided to do a little... run. <laughs> down here. It's more fun. I mean, you have to, you know, there's not really much to do. I guess I could go to the street and get a car, but I decided to go the silly way instead. What? There's been a change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works, a little up Sonora Road from there. What are you doing, Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. Trevor! Trevor! Ugh. I wouldn't do. Somehow I don't believe that. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Anyway, um, we're gonna go back to Trevor and we'll see what he did, but, uh, that, that's all. I don't remember what the other thing we do in this one is. I'm looking forward in the thing in DaVinci to see, and I'm not seeing it, so uh, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I love this. This is this is what's great about recording the gameplay a month before I record the commentary. Just knocked over that little dicky looking ass guy. Uh, is that I can just uh, it's like I'm discovering the video for the first time along with my viewers, you know. Uh, anywho, yeah. So Christmas. I hope you all got great gifts from Santa Claus. I hope this fucking gnat that's flying in front of my face every second of the day dies today. I swear to God, I don't know if it's the same one or if there's just an endless supply of them that come into the house, but 
I think for every day that I've been alive, there's been a gnat in front of my face when I'm sitting in front of the computer. And they're impossible to kill because they just fly away, and they're so small. And they don't land on anything except for my screen. I can't wait till I just punch my fucking computer screen one day. Look at me being stupid and getting this uh, golden hour shot of the car like I'm a guy, a car guy on Instagram. I went to, I was a, I don't know how to start sentences. I had a roommate in college who was a car guy and he liked to post pictures of his car a lot, like multiple every day on Instagram. And that was one of the main things that I remember about him. He also had, like, a muffler. Like, he replaced his muffler on his car. And so he had the old one. And it was just in the apartment on the ground. It was huge. And it was taking up space. And he was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to sell it. And I'm pretty sure he moved out of the apartment and didn't take it. And I think we just got rid of it. I don't know what we did. I don't know. One of one of the other roommates did something with it, I think. I don't I don't remember. It wasn't my problem. Uh but yeah, that reminds me of him. Me being like, Ooh, it's so uh the sunset and I have my cool car. I'm going to take a video of the car. Uh, the fuck has happened? So here's another uh, LMAO Trevor You So Crazy moment. People are stabbing him in the back. What happened? Cheap bastard. You know, I really don't know why you mess around with people like that, Mike. I mean, really, I Trevor! don't. Answer a fucking question. I asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work. Then he kind of got a little angry. So I admit, I kind of got a little angry. Did you kill him? What kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. Oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, I just told you what I just did. Now, oh, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're going to have to lay low for a little while while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you hop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out. You know, it's a, a very relaxing little spot. A little getaway, if you will. A cabin in the woods. You know what I'm saying. But skip town on up. Down like the vermin you are. You may be in a lot of... I got an achievement for uh, kidnapping the wife. And yeah, now you uh, have to play as Franklin for a little while. While Michael and Trevor are hiding. Except you can... You gotta go to their house. So the game can tell you that. So that's what I'm doing right now. Pretty sick fit uh, that Franklin's got on right now. Sunglasses at night, classic. Where you at, man? Your house is empty. Oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Is this the part where it forces you to lay low? There's a part where you just have to play as Franklin or something for a while. Because Michael and Trevor are scared. I don't know if that's now or later. I guess it's not now because I'm playing as them. Also, uh, I the other one that we just did was not Minor Turbulence. This is Minor Turbulence. I, my stupid ass, thought that the last one was called Minor Turbulence because it involved shooting down a plane. My mistake. Run! Run! I'm back! Coming, Trevor! Uh, bring me my coffee. I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that? Your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> uh, listen, 
beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. And that, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. Close the fucking business! I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story, it's just not quite come good yet. It's like number 12 on the turd count at this point. They over, they do it even more than uh, Cabbage in GTA 4. So I thought you might want to, uh, requisition it. Man. Fantastic! Let's go! Oh, man. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. Now watch her, okay? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go! <sighs> the weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip, but... Right, let's go! While I was a member of Black Flag, I was arrested a Okay, yeah, no, I'm remembering what, what which one this one is. It makes sense that it's called Minor Turbulence, because it involves even more planes than before, and you don't shoot them down, you fly them. So, I guess it makes sense. Uh, excuse me, I just ate some halal before I recorded this. Um, anyway... I don't remember if I started talking about anything before all of the talking that was done in the game, but, uh, it's the new year soon. Isn't that fun? Um, I am, I don't know, <laughs> it's, it happens, the new year happens, I don't have any big feelings about it one way or the other. It is good, the new year is a good excuse to, like, uh, reorient yourself on things if you want, you know, you can, like, if you've been not doing something that you said you were gonna do, you can be, you know, it's January 1st, so you can be like, okay, well, now I'm gonna do it. That'll be my thing. And, you know, sometimes that shit lasts, like, a couple weeks or, like, a few minutes, or you actually do it, so, I don't know. Uh, be cool if I did that. I don't know, I don't have any... My main goals all have to do with making stuff, with putting out some sort of film project. And I think... I know I can get at least one, but I'd like to get... I'd like to do more, because I, I want to do that. So, and there's one in the works. I'm not going to say anything about it, but I am cooking up something. But... Uh, yeah, I want those things to come to fruition, I want to get into a groove of making things with my pals, and all that jazz, so, uh, th I, yeah, that's my main thing, um, and yeah, I mean, I'll continue doing these Let's Plays into 2024, I'm sure, uh, for the fifth year in a row, probably, I'm also going to say that I am going to try to stream more often. We'll see if that fucking happens. I haven't streamed at all in, like, uh, like two months or something. Anyway, those, those are some major ones. I should get a passport. That would be a good thing to do. Well, anyway, um, so yeah, I hope, I hope you, all of your hopes and dreams come true in the new year. That would be sick. Uh, and hopefully all of the things that are going wrong right now, uh, in the world, hopefully they all get way better in the next year. Maybe Joe Biden will become good and things will be better. Maybe, uh, uh... I don't know, what would be a good thing 
that could happen. Uh, <laughs> I think it's just funnier for me to not try to think of one now. Um, well, fuck it, whatever. Uh, it's the end of the year, you know what I've been thinking about is the fact that it's been uh, all the end of year lists. That's been the big thing the last few weeks, everyone talking about their lists. And there was a little thing among the fucking geek ass nerds, film nerds on Twitter, uh, a few weeks ago, about uh, like whether or not it's a favorite or best of list, or if there's a difference. And I like understand. I I at one point may have been a proponent of that idea of like there's a difference between the movies you think are the best of the year or whatever and the movies that are your favorite of the year but uh truthfully there really isn't uh unless you want to make the argument that like there is uh a um what like there is some kind of objectivity in art and i don't really think that's true so anyway uh, it's a stupid discussion anyway. Just post your fucking list. Who gives a shit? But yeah, and then the the Spotify wrapped. That's the other big one uh, that came out. That that happens in like November though. It's just like, here's what you listen to from January to October or something. And I love how they never tell you how they do it. You know? You gotta stay really low here, so I'm here fucking flipping through trees. If this were San Andreas, my ass would have crashed like 14 times already. I don't mind the flying in this game. It's pretty fun to fly a fucking plane around. And with this little guy, you can kind of slink through all, all manner of things. They really have you flying this bitch for a while, though. But it's alright. Uh, the other thing with the end of the year, uh, oh, I guess I mentioned lists. Was it, was it, should I, maybe I'll post my year-end list, uh, of movies, even though there's still a bunch of stuff from this year that I haven't seen yet that I'm going to that will change the list, but it's the end of the year, so that's when you do it. But also, I don't know, no one fucking cares. Um, I liked, uh... Killers of the Flower Moon, Holdovers, and uh, Oppenheimer were my favorite American movies of the year. I know that. Uh, I think I cut myself with my own thumbnail a minute ago because I'm bleeding now. I was like scratching myself and slipped in like the very edge of my thumbnail. Uh, just sliced me. And now I'm looking at the wound. Uh, okay, I'm done doing that. So, uh, yeah, those are my favorite American movies. And then my favorite of the year was, apologies if I fuck up the pronunciation, Jigartanda Double X. It's an Indian movie. It's a sequel, a prequel, really, to a, another movie, Jigartanda, that came out a while ago. Both of them are very good. Uh, uh, Jawan, another Indian movie. I think I also talked about Rocky or Rani earlier in the year. Those are all good Indian films that I saw that are definitely toward the top of my list. Um, in Our Day, the new one of the two new Hong Sang Soo movies that came out. I know I talked about it when it came out. Uh... Um, what else? Boston Johnny, new Moturn. That'll be pretty good. There's another new Moturn this year that I haven't seen yet. Uh, I don't know if it's, like, streaming yet. Anyway, uh, I, I have, um, done some, uh, catching up on movies from the year the last couple weeks. I finally saw John Wick 4. It was fine. I like those movies, the John Wick movies, but for one thing, uh, there's 
you know, even though a lot of the action scenes in those movies are, are like, choreographed and staged well, and, and the movie, especially, uh, two and four are, like, beautiful looking, uh, you know, there's a lot of good stuff and impressive stuff there, um, and, you know, it does call to mind the, like, Hong Kong action movies that it is aping from. But there's just something about the way they look that's it's just like a little too sleek. Um, that it, you know, it never they never reach the heights of like the best uh, John Woo or Choi Hark or Johnny Toe type stuff or like the Raid. You know what I mean? Um, that being said, I like it. And the thing, but the thing with Chapter Four is there's a, there's a lot of good stuff in it, but I do think it's really fucking long, and it it lost me at multiple times. Um, I don't have any problem with a, a like nonstop assault on the senses type action movie, but it's really the lore that gets that bogs it down for me. Like, I I don't like a lot of the... I don't care about any of the stuff about, like, the secret world of assassins or whatever the fuck. Um, but I might be in the minority on that, because people seem to really, really love Chapter 4 and think it's, like, one of the best action movies ever, so that's fine. I'm not yucking anyone's yum. It's a good movie. I like it. Uh, but, yeah, it's not... I'm not as rapturous about it as a lot of people are, but I'm glad that people like something that's cool and not for babies. Uh, they should watch movies from China if they like John Wick. Uh, what else have I watched? I watched The Creator, which, speaking of virtual production, makes a lot of interesting use of that and is interesting the way that it was shot. And the VFX are very impressive looking for its comparatively small budget and crew. It was only like $80 million or something, and easily looks, I mean, looks aesthetically better than, like, any Marvel movie ever made, and, uh, like, VFX-wise, in terms of the fidelity of the, of the effects, um, is, like, you know, just as, if not more, impressive than your standard $250 million mega blockbuster, so... Bully for them on that. Uh, I thought the movie, however, was really fucking boring. <laughs> I didn't like the story very much at all. I thought I was fucking up the mission here, but fear not. You're supposed to get shot at. I'm actually doing really well right now. But yeah, so, sorry, I thought that movie was stinky. Um, but it's, it's okay. There's cool things in it. Um, Holdovers is really great. I don't think I talked about that in this LP, but... And I, I'm not gonna get all into it right now, but that movie is cool as fuck. I watched that twice. I saw I watched it again with my parents uh, while I was home for Christmas, and they both loved it as well. We watched Oppenheimer, too, and they loved that as well. Alright, we're gonna see the big boom. You ready? Any minute. Any minute. I think it goes in the water. There it is. Woo! Alright, now I can compare a shoot. Shoot. Um. Uh. Oh, the two movies that people. I'm sure a lot of people would be interested in hearing me say that I saw uh, is Boy and the Heron and Godzilla Minus One, which I saw I saw both of them in theaters, and I liked both of them. Um, Godzilla Minus One was very good. I like Shin Godzilla more, but I understand why this Godzilla has resonated more with Western audiences, and it is a very good movie, and just like a, as probably as solid a modern kaiju, and like palatable uh, you could make a modern kaiju movie. Um, and Boy and the Heron was kind of middle of the road Miyazaki for me, but that's still a great movie because Miyazaki's cool as hell. And I still enjoyed it. There's lots of great little creatures and all that shit. 
God. Yeah. Both good movies. There's there's good stuff that came out this year, uh, especially if you are willing to look beyond uh, America American releases, and especially if you look beyond like just what is in the like awards conversation for the year, um, which is mostly full of stuff that personally I find usually to be pretty mid or even bad. But I haven't checked out a lot of the Oscar Beatty stuff yet. That'll probably come later when I watch, like, Salt Burn just to make myself fucking angry. <laughs> I just assume that I won't like that movie because I didn't like Promising Young Woman, which is by the same director and writer. So, and most of the things I've, most of the criticisms I've heard of Salt Burn all sound like the same problems I had with Promising Young Woman. Also, yeah, here's this dumb bullshit that happened. This guy just fucking wrecked my ass. Just ruined my whole shit. At first I thought it was kind of funny, going for a little ride with him. And uh, now we're going to end not with a mission, but with another silly thing that kind of went awry. And... Uh, I will stop talking about over this in a second, but we're picking this lady up. You can read the subtitles if you're interested in the backstory, but I just wanted to say, uh, with awards season, have, with having mentioned that, uh, that's another thing that is characteristic of this time of year to me, is that it's when a lot of the people that I follow, and not a lot of the people I follow, but it's when people start talking about the fucking Oscars and award stuff. And, uh, it's funny because I, like, have guessed and followed the Oscars a lot for years. And it's funny because I don't, I, I don't have the same verve for award punditry online as I once did. Especially because most of the people who are involved with it are weird freaks. Um, and just very annoying about movies, generally. Um... But that doesn't mean I don't think about it, and uh, I feel like it's going to be between Oppenheimer and Killers, which would be nice. I'm sure I'll talk about it more later. Anyway, so yeah, uh, taking this lady wherever, but um, as you'll see, things kind of go awry. And uh, I'll just let the rest of the video speak for itself, so I will see you guys next time. What happened last time, but I'm pretty sure this guy is okay. I ran out of money, or I would have gotten a cab. Yes, all the thousand you gave me, what's the big deal? I said I'd pay you back. I'm sorry, okay? The phone was out of juice. I only just got it charged. I was staying at a friend's at Sandy Shore. You know, Brianna or Susie. No, I haven't spoken to him in weeks. This is just some random guy, I swear. Calm down, babe! Look! Would you tell him? Are you talking to me? Yes, tell him you're not a guy called Brian. Hey! You're just some random guy. What? Just shout it! I'm just some random guy not called Brian. There, babe, you believe me now? Babe! Babe! Shit, he hung up on me. Sorry about that. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, how well do you think that went? He'll be fine the when I find him. Wrong with Probably you. just having a bad day. He can never stay mad at me for long. Opposites attract, you know. He's the serious, responsible, pay your bills, safe for the future type. Oh my god! I would really like to punch a boy band in the face. Just out of principle. Shit, I'd like to punch you in the face. Oh no! <laughs> I'm not gonna stop!